की जाए धन्यवाद महोदय आपने मुझे मौका दिया आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद श्री ए एम आरिफ जी स्पीकर सर आई स्टैंड सीयर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सी पी आई एम ऑन द डिमांड फॉर ग्रांड्स फॉर रेलवे पार्ट ऑफ द यूनियन बजट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू सर एट दउट सेट I wish to register the strong protest on behalf of my party against the move by the union government to privatize Indian Railway slowly in the name of modernizing it. Sir, we all know what happened to bids floated by the railways for running 109 private rides in 20 clusters in June last year. Sir, no private player offered any substantial revenue share. to the railway and eventually the entire bidding process has to be scrapped scrapped when then the government is re reportedly negotiating with the private private players by offering them more incentives and with the aim of full privatizing the lifeline of our country sir inefficiency has been used as a major weapon against the public sector by the proponents of privatization sir it is not different in the case of railways also sir without sufficient manpower how efficiency could be achieved indian railways is one of the major employer in the public sector even in the world but what is the plight now sir last month honorable minister for railways informed rajya sabha that a total of 2 lakhs 63370 vacancies are remaining unfilled in railways sir the unfilled vacancies are getting increased on a yearly basis how can a firm function efficiently if about 15 to 20% of the workforce is absent sir this government is purposefully not filling the vacancies and excusing the existing employees to work for extra hours affecting their efficiency sir this is what is government is doing with all the public sector undertaking including the railways first it will not fill the vacancy and naturally the efficiency would be decreased then it would says that privatization is a panacea of the inefficiency and sell them to private players to throw away prizes sir covid has come as a blessing is disguise for the railways to accelerate the anti people policies without any discussion the government withdrawn the concession for senior citizens always we are telling about the senior citizen the concession for the senior citizen is without even after almost all express trains were have resumed their services it has not been reinstated then even after the repeated request on and off this floor the railway have not resumed the services of hundreds of passenger trains which were a respite for the common travelers for their daily communications in my own constituency at least four passenger trains having huge demand among daily commuters have not started have not started their services sir coming to the development of the railway in kerala even now the doubling of railway line across the kerala is dragging for years no one knows when it could be completed the proposal for the rob's pending before the board the projects already sanctioned not yet started Oh, the ROBs projects. So I, I, rec I request you, to Honourable Minister, to scrutinise this. Why the projects are pending before the board? You, you may please uh, the, uh, given uh, direction to the authorities to scrutinise these projects here. Even though the part of uh, funds were sanctioned last year for doubling of Kaiyengula Marnaugulam stretch via Alappuzha, no progress could be made till date, and remaining part is not as sanctioned. it is pending before the board sir sir this government is showing a step motherly attitude towards kerala in railway development by purposefully putting hurdles for the k rail dream project investment for modern kerala by the ldf government sir our government in kerala went ahead with the project only after getting in principal approval from the union government but unfortunately this government now taking stand against the kerala succumbing the pressure from the congress bjp nexus and any people uh, forces which are up in arms to protect their interests sir why the bjp and congress are against the project because they clearly knows that the implementing such a project by the ldf government will shut their doors of power forever in the state they they, they don't want to give the credit, the credit for modernizing kerala to the ldf government 
give me the protection when when they abu abu riba is who was speaking they were demand for the argued for the protection of that lady but why don't you make a, you can speak your own time they don't want to give the they don't want to give the credit for modernizing kerala to the ldf government which has got the people mandate for the second time in the history of kerala i request the union government that at least now to rise above narrow political consideration and approve the kerala project for the benefit not only kerala but the entire country i conclude thank you sir